those of you who got an invite, welcome to Nerd Prime. <laughs> no matter where in the world you are, we're all Nerds International. With the hyphen. Alright, YouTube, it's Mr. Mean coming at you from kind of sunny Beaumont today. It's been a gorgeous day. Um, uh, just got off work. The wife's feeding the baby. He's eating solid food. It's pretty cool. Um, he's almost six months old. I think uh, the 17th he'll be six months. But anyway, I want to do a quick video. This one's going to be probably pretty short because i got to go down there and help Mama out. But uh, I wanted to pass along that uh, redshirtdown.com. They're the guys that brought us the awesome conversion of Star Wars uh, by Fantasy Flight. They brought us their version called Sky Wars, Edge of the Kingdom. Uh, this uses the funky dice that are in the Fantasy Flight game, uh, Star Wars and Empire, uh, Star Wars, Force of Destiny, and... I can't think of the other one, the Red Book. Uh, for It's basically for pilots and uh, the Rebellion, uh, Age of Rebellion. There we go, Age of Rebellion. So all those Fantasy Flight dice, uh, this uses them, and it's basically a fantasy conversion of Fantasy Flight's uh, Star Wars called Sky Wars, Edge of the Kingdom role-playing game. And it's an unofficial fantasy conversion of the Edge of the Empire RPG uh, by Red Shirt Down. Um, They've just released, and I'll put links in the show notes, they just released uh, version 1.2, which has, uh, a, I guess, a, a complete overhaul of the uh, fighter class, or the warrior class in the book. Uh, so all the occupations and everything, and the charts and everything that you get from Fantasy Flight, uh, it's based off of that same concept. So uh, when you pick a class, uh, and you pick a specialization, you have all these... Uh, boxes that you spend experience you can drop down and get it um this is a really cool setting because they're these guys are doing this for free um and i don't i i went on their website and i was reading i don't see where they got permission or they didn't get permission from fantasy flight it they say it right on the cover that it is a edge of the empire rpg by fantasy flight games uh, unofficial fantasy conversion for the Edge of the Empire by Fantasy Flight. So they get full credit. They got all of the art from DeviantArt. <clears throat> they found a number of artists off of DeviantArt willing to contribute the art. And uh, the layout of the book is phenomenal. It's done really well. Um, I downloaded 1.2 today. I haven't had a chance to go through it because, well, I was at work and it was kind of busy. But uh, I'm going to go through it tonight. Um, I didn't print it um, just because I have 1.0, and I think only one chapter or one section of the book has actually been changed with significant changes. Um, they have a change log on GitHub uh, that you can go and view, and like I said, I'll put the I'll put the uh, link and everything uh, in the show notes below. Um, so check it out. Um, this is a really really well done fan conversion by some guys that are guys and gals that are really passionate about about their game and it shows in the production quality this is free guys this is you can go download a full game and to be honest all the rules and everything you need are in here only thing you have to do is go buy the fantasy flight dice um, which are fifteen dollars for a pack or if you have an android or an ipad or ipod device it's $5 in, in the store, in the Android store or the iTunes store. It's a $5 to buy the official Fantasy Flight dice roller uh, utility. So you don't even have to really spend the 15 bucks. So for $5 and the cost of whatever it costs for you to print, um, if, you're, if you're like me, I print at work. Um, I bring my own paper in because I like a certain type of paper. I'm just picky that way. But I print at work, and um, I'm not telling you to do that. I'm saying I got permission at work to print. But, uh, you know, if you're cool with your printing department or your IT department or whatever, and you say, hey, can I print this? And they say, yeah, hey, there you go. So you printed it for free. Another six, five or six bucks at Kinko's or, or Office Depot to get it spiral bound. So for 10 bucks, you got a full RPG that's ready to play. That, that's a screaming deal, dude. I, I, dude and dudettes. I don't, I don't know any other way. You can't get much cheaper than that. I mean, the game itself is free. You don't even have to print it. You could keep it on a tablet or put it on your laptop or your phone, and you could run it from there. So you don't even need to print it. But, um, 
excuse me, I think it's really cool though that they this is a labor of love and they've made it available for them. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out because version 1.2 is up and available for download off of their website. Um, and go out and get it, guys. It's it's very cool. I'm gonna actually run it for my group here uh, when we decide to take a break from the various other games that we're running um, and uh, have fun with it because we already know the mechanics. It's just the names have changed is is all they did. So instead of now instead of having a Jedi, you have a you have a magic wielding knight, um, and I'm okay with that. I think uh, the production quality of this uh, speaks volumes of what you can do in this day and age with. A little basic desktop publishing software and some art and these guys put together a hell of a book and it it does look amazing even printed in black and white it looks really good um the color version i i can't wait to print it in color and see what it looks like it's only about 170 pages i think so i'm, I'm gonna print it here on my my brother uh color printer here from it duplexes so i'll, I'll print a full color copy because i want to take it once they get their final version whatever that version will be when they're completely done with it, I'll reprint it. Uh, if it's a reasonable page count, I'll print it and have a color version because it's stunning. I mean, the art in here is, they got some really nice artists to do some work and, and I don't know if they got it for free or if they paid them or whatever, but kudos to you guys. Uh, redshirtdown.com, you guys have done an amazing job and uh, I think it speaks volumes to the quality of stuff that fans can do and this is really cool. So. Those of you that follow my channel, you know my role-playing taste is all over the chart. I like a lot of everything. So uh, go check it out, man. Redshirtdown.com. Uh, Kingdom. It's it's right on their splash page. As soon as you go to the website, you'll see it. You can click on it and download it. So give it a check if you haven't checked it out. Uh, go back and watch my other review for a little bit more in-depth of 1.0, which was their first version. Like I said, this is version 1.2. And I just want to do a quick video just to give a shout-out to those guys and drive some traffic to their site. Um, hopefully, uh, uh, you know, it gives them some more exposure and kudos to fantasy flight for letting them do this. Um, it's, it, it, it's an awesome homage to a very cool game because fantasy flight system for their star Wars, uh, their role playing system. I, I really like it. So I think they've done a great job. I think it's cool of them to let these guys do it. Um, it, it's super cool. Um, and all the way around, it's just a really good game and, uh, it's cool dice and they really make storytelling a lot of fun because the dice drive the story uh, as long as your players are willing and your GM is willing to use them you you can get a lot of a bang for your buck so anyway I just wanted to do a quick video I'll get this posted uh, later on this afternoon after everything calms down and I hope you guys have a great Monday as always peace and hair grease and remember be nice